Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Pan the Organizer, where you and I work together to help organize different aspects of your lives in simple and easy steps. In today's show, I'm going to show you guys how to wash your car in simple and easy steps. Let's get the show rolling. So I've been detailing cars for the past 20 years. A lot of people have misconceptions on what the proper techniques are to wash a car. It can get very complicated, but it can also be very simple. So I'll show you what I think are the easiest steps to protect your investment and to help your ride looking mean and clean. Let me show you just how much of a car nut I am. Let's make this dramatic. Now I love detailing cars, right? I told you that. Well, let's see just how bad I love washing cars. So this here is my cupboard where I keep all my detailing products. Now look at all of this. So I got my microfiber towels, different kinds, microfiber wash mitts, some gloves, detailing products. This is all for detailing cars, a bunch of shampoos. This is for the paint some wax, some sealants, some different brushes. Yeah. So the basic tools you're gonna need to wash your car are microfiber chenille wash mitts. These are soft and plush. If I can make a focus, see these? Why two of them? You'll need one to wash the paint and one separate one for the wheels. There's a lot of dust and metal particles on the wheels and you don't want to contaminate your paint by washing with the same mitt. The other thing you're going to need is a microfiber drying towel. So this one here is a waffle weave. I don't know if you can tell, you see all the little squares in there. So this helps to dry the paint without marring or scratching the paint. Another super important item is a proper car soap. Please do not, do not use dish washing liquid. A real car soap is pH neutral and will not damage your car's finish. Don't worry, I'll link all the products down below so you guys can have a reference and purchase them if you need to. You'll need a wash bucket. Ideally, one with a grit guard. So this goes in the bottom of the wash bucket and it'll trap any dirt particles. The particles will stay in the bottom and you won't have any dirt or debris in your wash water. If I can give you guys another pro tip, now, don't say this to anybody, but the trick is you gotta wash your car towards the end of the day, ideally in a shaded area or in a garage. You don't wanna wash your car in midday when the sun is at its brightest because when you're, the, all the soap that you're gonna put on your car is gonna dry up, you'll have water spots and you'll have streaks on the finish. All right, so let's get the wash started. Today, we're gonna wash my brand new BMW 435i X-Drive Grand Coupe M Performance. Wow, <laughs> that's a mouthful. All right, so first thing we need to do is to add some soap into our bucket. Follow the instructions, usually they're on the label. This one here suggests to add one ounce of soap to four to five gallons of water. Don't be cheap, guys. Let's fill the bucket up with water. All right, so now that the bucket's full of nice soapy water, we're gonna dump our wash mitt for the paint into the bucket, let it soak there, and let's rinse the paint. All right, so now it's time to actually wash the car. Now, pro tip number three. Oh, is that pro tip number four? Damn. 
Anyways, I'm dishing them out like uh, candies out there. <laughs> so you guys just take them. Wash the car from top to bottom. Now you wanna start with the roof and midsection of the car and keep the lower part and the rocker panels for the end. Because when you think of it, the majority of the dust, the grime and all the road debris go from the wheels and they splash on to your body. So the lower half is usually the dirtiest part of the vehicle. So let's go ahead and start washing the car. Now, ideally, you wanna use what we call the straight line technique. Don't put any pressure and don't use circular motion because that will put swirl marks into your paint. The swirl marks are those kind of spider web swirlies that you'll see into the car's finish, especially on darker cars. That's because people have the tendency to wash in a circular motion. Now use straight lines and be gentle. Let the weight of the mitt work for you. Now that we're done cleaning the paint, we're gonna go ahead and rinse all that soap off. All right, so let's use our second microfiber wash mitt to go ahead and wash the wheels. So now we can rinse off the wheels. All right, guys. So now the car has been properly rinsed, washed and rinsed again. So we're gonna go up to the drying stage now. So as stated before, you'll need a microfiber drying towel. If you have a squeegee for the windows, that's all right. If not, you can dry the windows with the microfiber as well. All right, guys. So now that the car is dry, another pro tip that I can give you to give it that final detailed touch is to use some sort of tire gel. What it's going to do for your tires is give them that ultimate black shine as well as protecting them from the harshness of the sun's UV rays. So you put them on a foam applicator pad and you just go ahead and add some to the sidewall of your tires. So as you can tell, now the tires are protected. They're nice and shiny and it gives them that showroom look. All right, and that's the final result. Let's go have a closer look. All right, guys, if you like that video, don't forget to go nuts on that like button. Leave your comments down below. Follow me on social media. And in the meantime, remember to keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.